Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Steve Natto, and for today's video, we have a huge pickup. This was a sneaker I was really looking forward to. Just got it in the mail earlier today, so needed to get this video up as soon as possible. This is the brand new New York Knicks Kith Air Force One Low. This just dropped this past Friday on December 18th for a retail price of 130 bucks. It released alongside a really cool apparel collection around the Knicks, Nike, and Kith. So they did an awesome job with the collection. I actually picked up this pair from something that Kith has done called their loyalty program. I'll put up the email here so you guys can check it out. Essentially, they outlined that if you bought any of the previous Nike and Kith collaborations dating back a few years, you had the opportunity to be entered into a raffle to get this shoe. I was somehow selected in that, got the email, was able to submit my entry for this pair right here, was able to get it and purchase it before the release on Thursday. The shoes as well as the apparel did drop on Friday. Friday online only at 11 o'clock and they did sell out pretty much instantly. So all this was so cool. I did pick up the shoes as well as a couple of the apparel pieces as well, which are coming in, but we're going to do a full dive into the sneaker, take a look at it both on feet as well as up close. There's tons of really cool small details on the shoe that I want to show you guys here on YouTube. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep it locked to the channel. But for now, let's go and start jumping into the Kith Air Force One Low, starting with the quick facts. And getting it started here with the Kith Air Force One Low New York Knicks. I want to get it started with the quick facts and tell you guys everything you need to know about the shoe. First off, in terms of the sizing and the fit, I typically like to go down a half size in my Air Force One Lows for a little bit better fit, but I do recommend true to size. As always, though, you should always try on a pair, just any generic Air Force One you can to make sure you get the right size fit for you. But true to size or down a half size if you've had them before is typically the right fit. In terms of the comfort, it's really pretty good right out of the box. Air Force Ones are pretty comfortable. They get better over time as you wear them and break them in. And finally, the pricing on this shoe, it did retail for 130 bucks, like I mentioned, but is currently selling on the resale market for around 250 to 300 bucks, depending on the size. They did sell out pretty quick, and this seemed to be a pretty limited run of the sneaker. As for the sneakers themselves, you can see they're made up of a very nice white leather for the upper, an all-white midsole, and then an icy blue outsole. Then on the upper, you can check out the NYC logo stitched on on the back. It does have an orange Nike swoosh on top of that. It's on the heel of either sneaker. Then for the swooshes on the shoe, the next largest part that you'll notice, you can see it's orange on the lateral side and then blue on the medial side, keeping consistent on both shoes. Then moving to the back, you can see Kith Air stitched on in orange instead of the classic Nike Air. I love that. I think that's really cool. Then on the top of the tongue, you can see it does have the Kith tag. It says Kith Air Force One in a nice orange and blue gradient. Then as we move inside the shoe, you can see that same Kith logo printed on the insole. It is all white for the insole and all white for the inner liner. Behind the tongue, again, it's all white with some blue stitched on writing for the information behind the tongue. Then we can check out the size tag for the numbers and information. It's the same that we saw on the box. And my last thing that I want to mention here is just the laces. So they did come with regular white laces included on the shoe. I switched them out to the additional pair. You can see they have the gold aglets as well as the gold lace lock that says Kith. I needed to make that change immediately. These are so much better, but it was really cool to see that they included both. But overall, the shoes will look really clean on feet. And now there we have it for the Kith Air Force One Low on feet. So I absolutely love these things. I think Kith knocked these out of the park, did a really good job on the shoe. And I just have two final things I want to share with you guys that I think are worthwhile to know about the Kith Air Force One before we wrap up this video here. So first off is actually one feature on the shoe that I really, really like that I didn't mention earlier. So you could really feel it on the on feet, but the heel padding, the padding on the heel that exists on the back of this shoe, I'll try and put a close up there for you guys to see, but there's a lot of padding on the heel that keeps your heel really locked in. My foot did not slip out of this shoe at all and significantly less than compared to any other Air Force One that I have tried on. So I'm not exactly sure what happened there or maybe if they did put in a little bit more padding. It feels like they did, but your foot feels really locked in. It's not that it's any smaller or tighter. You just feel more secure in the shoe. And I like the fit of this a lot because of that small change. In my regular Air Force Ones in the same size, you know, the stuff I wear all the time, my foot slips a little bit in the heel, but this shoe does not do that at all. So something to note and something I really like on this pair right here. The second thing to note is just if you're a fan of either Kith, the Air Force One, Nike, the Knicks, whatever, any combination or all of those, this pair is just so good. It, it's a classic colorway. This feels like New York. This feels like something for the Knicks and Kith, like all really well done. You are not going to be disappointed if you pick up this shoe because I just think it's such a well done sneaker and I really like it a lot. 
But I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Definitely leave your feedback and comments down there. But to wrap this up and give you guys my final rating and opinion on a scale out of 10, you guys can definitely tell I really like the shoe. And I'm going a 9 out of 10. I think this is a pretty well done sneaker, all said and done. I'm very happy with it. I really like it a lot. I'm going to get a ton of wear out of this shoe for the rest of 2020 here and definitely into 2021. So definitely excited to put some miles on these things here. Um, but let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button as well to keep it locked to the channel. And I'll catch you guys again real soon on the next video.